guys how are you today today I'm doing a video called makeup products that I want to love but don't and I actually got this video idea from my friend Kaylee so I'm gonna go ahead and link her channel down below if you guys want to watch her but this video is also made in collaboration with Lisa Stevens and I've actually been watching her channel for a few months now I think I found her through one of her declutters when I was kind of on my declutter kick and I just instantly liked her channel she has three kids just like me so I feel like instantly I felt like I could relate to her in some way even though her kids are actually a little bit older than mine are. Mine are still kind of in their toddler years. But I just enjoy the videos that she puts out and she does make daily videos. So if you guys like someone that uploads a lot, you're gonna love her channel. So go ahead and check her out. I'll link her down in the description box below. But if you guys wanna see which makeup products I want to love, but just for some reason can't, please go ahead and keep on watching. Oh, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you wanna see more. All right, let's get to it. Okay guys, the first product that we're gonna talk about is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This is one that I feel like a lot of people rave about and love and talk about, but I purchased it immediately when it came out because I love concealer and I'm just constantly looking for something to cover my crazy dark circles. And I didn't love this at all. Now here's the thing. The reason that I want to love it so much is that it feels amazing under the eyes. It has a very hydrating feeling to, to it, which I really need because I have such dry under eyes. And then I feel like it actually doesn't crease terribly compared to a lot of other concealers that I have. So I want to love it because I have such wrinkly under eyes and I have such dry under eyes that I want something that's going to kind of combat that. And I feel like this has that kind of texture, but at the same time, it looks ridiculous under my eyes. It looks very cakey and powdery underneath the eyes and I've tried not setting it and I've tried setting it with a bunch of different powders and no matter what I do when I wear this it just looks crazy and like crepey underneath my eyes. So no matter how much I want to love this I just I can't. Okay the next one is gonna be back here and if you guys have been watching me for a little bit you know that I talked about the Anastasia Subculture Palette. This one is probably no surprise because I don't think anybody likes this palette. But I have a review on this palette and then I also have three looks using the palette if you guys want to see how the palette works. I'll go ahead and link those up in the eye up here if you guys want to watch that. But I love Modern Renaissance. I love Anastasia Single Shadows. Basically any powder product that they've ever come out with, I adore. I think they do really, really amazing powder products and especially eyeshadows. But the quality of the shadows just isn't there. It's not up to par with the sub or with the modern renaissance at all. They're very, very patchy. They're almost impossible to blend. And then I feel like a lot of the colors don't even look the same on the lid. Like this one, for example, is not yellow on your lid. It's brown, which I didn't like. And these right here, you have to use, look at that. There's like nothing on my finger. It's ridiculous. Like no matter how much I try to get product out on them, there's just not much there. And I wanted to love it just because I love Anastasia in general. And I love most of the things that they come out with, especially when it comes to powder products. That's like, to me, what they are super, super amazing at. You could probably make it work if you wanted to, but you guys, I have three kids. I don't have time to work on a palette and try to make it work. I need something that's gonna work for me, not make me work for it, you know? <laughs> okay guys, the next thing I wanna talk about is actually a series of a few different products and they are the Benefit Concealers. So I actually am glad that I only bought the sample size of these instead of the full size. I wanted to test them out, so I actually went and purchased a little kit that came with all of them. So it comes with the Brightening Concealer, it comes with the Hydrating Concealer, the airbrush concealer and the industrial strength concealer so i'm going to be honest with you i have not used the hydrating concealer so i'm going to put that one off to the side but the rest of them i have tried and i just don't understand them i don't know if i'm using them wrong but i had really really high hopes for these so i'm the kind of person that i struggle anyway to cover blemishes and i really needed a good concealer that would cover my blemishes so when i heard about the industrial strength and the airbrush concealer i thought okay one of those has to work because they're supposed to be really good and then i have really bad under eye circles and i've never really used a corrector but a lot of people said the brightener conceal the brightening concealer from benefit was supposed to be a really great corrector so that's kind of why i went with the kit so i could try everything all in one and see what worked for me and what didn't the industrial strength and airbrush concealer these are the ones that i bought to try to cover blemishes with and I feel like they don't cover anything. I even watched tutorials by Benefit on how to use the concealers and I use them exactly the way that they said to use them and they just blend away on my face. They fade away. They don't cover anything. It's almost like I didn't put anything on my face at all with those. 
I could have just used a normal concealer or just my foundation and it would have looked the same. And then with the brightening concealer, it's kind of the same thing. I feel like I'm just adding another layer underneath my eyes, which is gonna make them look a little bit more heavy, a little bit more cakey, and just give something else that's gonna sink into my lines, which I don't need more of. But to me, I feel like I could work with that and try to fix that if it actually worked but I don't feel like this actually covers anything. I feel like you can still see my under eye circles just like I had nothing on them except for my normal concealer and foundation. So I just feel like none of these did anything. I really wanted to love them because I wanted them to finally fix the issues that I have with concealers never covering anything on me, but those just didn't do it. Okay, the next product is gonna be the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow uh, Foundation. This is another one that so many people love and I thought I would love it and I actually have a review on it and like a full wear test. I'll go ahead and put that up in the eye. It was from a long time ago. But this is actually my second bottle. I repurchased it because I couldn't decide whether or not I loved it or hated it. And so I was like, I need to have an opinion on this product. And I just repurchased it hoping to form some kind of opinion on it. And I'm almost through this one and I still just cannot love this foundation. I love all other L'Oreal foundations that I've ever tried, and so for me to not like one of their foundations is a little bit disappointing to me, and I love the idea of a pro glow 24 hour foundation, you know, super long wearing, but still really glowy. I love the whole idea behind it, and it's just not, it, it doesn't do anything for me. I don't know, I just don't love it. I don't even like it. It's just kind of like a meh foundation but I know a lot of people really love this and some of you guys have even told me oh my gosh I can't believe you know you didn't talk about the L'Oreal Pro Glow it's so good but I don't know you guys I don't know why I'm so different from everyone else with this foundation I don't like it at all all right guys that's everything that I wanted to talk about today in makeup that I really wanted to love but just don't let me know if you guys have any products like this in your collection and don't forget to check out Lisa's video it's going to be linked down below and I'll see you guys in the next one bye